With the photography, I shoot very non-traditional. I'm not using strobes, I'm using hot lights. I love starting out with shooting in limbo. So essentially, you know, pitch black, light up your key, your fill, your rim. But I like taking it farther than that, like adding so many lights that it becomes like painting with light. When I was young and in college, I remember I grew to love this director that did some really offbeat, obscure films, uh, Peter Greenaway. He did like The Cook, The Thief, The Wife and Her Lover. Another film I fell in love with called Prospero's Books with John, Sir John Gilgood. The lighting in those shots. So here I was in college adding lights and lights and lights just for still images. But looking at his films, Oh my God, it, it, it was like, imagine that, but on steroids with like a two hour long film, every scene being super complicated and super art directed. The sets as well, and dancers and choreography, all this stuff that was just so overwhelmingly beautiful. All of that became a part of me. Years later, when I got into post-production and CG, I was, a generalist at first, which essentially is you do a little bit of everything. You animate, you model, yeah. you light. But later when I went to bigger houses like Rhythm and Hughes, I had to specify more what I was as an artist. Are you an animator? Are you an effects artist? You know, creating tornadoes and storms and lightning. Are you a modeler? So to me, the most logical thing was I went for lighting because of how it was all relative, how I could light on set translated into lighting in a computer in which case back then and what i saw was i thought i saw a lot of people that really didn't understand true lighting a lot of them came from more of a tech background so i remember back then it was probably like two between 2006 2010 working on a film in the computer on shots you know where you bring in actual film like background plates from the set that was shot with the actors and actresses. Yeah. And you try to emulate, recreate that light from set onto whatever is created in 3D. The way I was doing it, I was looking through these lights in the computer, looking at my angles, seeing how it fell on everything. And one person walked by and I'm like, oh my God, I've never seen a lighter light like that before. I'm like, yeah, because I know what I'm doing on set <laughs> as a lighter. You're matching the shot with the CGI, you're matching the lighting, you're matching the color. Yeah. At this point, it sounds like you don't have to do a lot of post editing because you're already professionally lighting it, right? Uh, to an extent, yeah. I mean, there, there's a, another step after lighters that's called compositing, which I sometimes do as well. But everything that you said about getting the temperature, getting everything to match what's on set, compositors take that those elements that are lit and then they actually merge the computer generated in imagery and models against the background. So it becomes seamless. 